Namaste children, I am Smita, your English teacher from Mangala Vidya Mandira. Class 8 Standard, Subject English Children, in today's class, let us learn a new lesson called as the Emperor's New Clothes. So, Unit 7 Pros, the Emperor's New Clothes. Children, King has to be just and wise and he should always be working for the benefit of his people, isn't it? But what if a king wastes his time in spending for himself and engaging in unnecessary habits? Think for a while. So today we are going to learn a story about such a king who forgets his duties while thinking about his own pleasures. Okay, shall we begin the lesson children? Okay. Once upon a time there lived a proud and foolish emperor was very fond of wearing new clothes. To him, new clothes meant more than anything else in the world. Indeed, he spent so many hours every day in his dressing room trying out new clothes that he had very little time to attend to the affairs of his kingdom. Children, once upon a time, there was a king who was very proud of himself and also foolish. Foolish means not wise. He was very fond of wearing new clothes. So wearing new clothes was the only thing that interested him. So he used to waste a lot of time trying new clothes that he completely neglected the affairs or dealings of his kingdom. Scene 1 A hall in the emperor's palace. As the curtain goes up, the emperor is seen coming out of his dressing room into the hall where his chief advisor is waiting. The emperor is in a very angry mood. So children, this is a play that can be enacted on the stage. So scene 1, a hall in the emperor's palace. Now the scene starts with the emperor coming out of his dressing room and he is very angry for some reason. So let us see what the reason is. Emperor, pointing to something in his dressing room. Useless. All these clothes are useless. Not one of the suits can be worn by me. You know, the emperor is very angry. He points to something. He points to something and says that he was not happy with even one of the dress present there. And he says that all clothes were useless. Chief advisor. Your Majesty, these are the best that I could get for you today. So there is this chief advisor to the king. So he says that that was the best he could get that particular day. Emperor, the best? Did you say? If these are the best, then my empire is full of worthless tailors. Banish them all. Send them one and all out of the country. I want new clothes. I want new clothes. I want a tailor who can make me a different set of clothes every day. You may go now. Come to me only when you find a new tailor. Now the emperor is very angry. The emperor says that the kingdom was full of useless tailors. He tells the advisor to send all of them out of the country. So he also tells that he was looking for a tailor who could make a different cloth every day. So he orders him to find a new tailor. The chief advisor bows and takes a few steps towards the door, then stops and turns towards the emperor again. Emperor, have you something more to say? Chief advisor, your majesty, since yesterday, two weavers from a distant place have been waiting outside the palace to see you. Okay, now the chief advisor, he tells the king, the two weavers who had come from a far place were waiting to see the king. Okay, So they were waiting uh, for the king since two days outside the palace. Emperor, in an angry tone, weavers? But I don't need weavers. I want good tailors. I want tailors who will make me new clothes. Okay, For this emperor says that he was looking for a tailor and not weaver. Chief Advisor, Your Majesty, 
these men say that they have found a secret way of weaving the finest silk cloth and making the most beautiful cloths from the cloth that they weave. They claim to be magic tailors. Now the chief advisor tells the king that the weavers had told that they knew a secret way of weaving the best silk cloth and making the most beautiful cloth from the cloth they weave and that they were magic tailors. Emperor, magic tailors? Who make the most beautiful cloths? Then why are you wasting your time here? Go and bring them in at once. Okay, now listening to this word, magic tailors, the king is very happy. So the king tells the advisor to bring the weavers inside his court. Now the advisor goes out. The two weavers enter the court and go to the emperor. Emperor, come in, come in my men. I hear you have some very fine clothes to show me. The clothes that you make must be very wonderful indeed. Okay. Now the king, the emperor is very much excited. So he, the emperor asks the weavers to enter the hall to show the finest clothes that they uh, have woven. Okay. So now the first weaver talks. They are your majesty. But before we begin our work, we require a large quantity of the finest silk and the purest gold thread. Second weaver, and we must also have several jewels to sew on your majesty's new clothes. So the first weaver says that before they could begin their work, they required finest silk and purest gold thread. Now the second weaver says that they also need some jewels to save the clothes. Emperor, of course, of course, my chief advisor will provide for you whatever you want. You will be given a room in the palace to make the new clothes and you shall not leave the palace till you have completed the work. I shall wear the new clothes in the procession that I am expected to lead two days later. Now the emperor says that all those they need to see new clothes would be provided with special room and his desire was to wear that cloth for a procession he would lead after two days. Now the first weaver says, Pardon us your majesty, we have no new cloths just now to show you. We have come here to explain to you that we have discovered a magic way of making the most beautiful silk cloth. Second weaver, which is so finely woven and has so many rich colors and also such attractive patterns that only a great emperor like you can wear clothes made from it. Now the first weaver says that uh, right then they had no clothes to show him but they had a magic way of making the most beautiful silk cloth. Now the second weaver says that it would be finely woven with rich colors the emperor's clothes would be finely woven with rich colors and patterns which is suitable only for the emperor like him. Emperor, flattered by this compliment. Well, well, well. Tell me something about the cloths you make from this wonderful cloth. Okay, now the emperor is flattered by listening to hearing those words of the two weavers. Okay. So he becomes very happy and he asks them to tell about the clothes they would make. The first weaver. Your Majesty, if you wear a suit made out of this cloth, only wise men can see what you are wearing, but fools will not be able to see it at all. Now the first weaver says that after the king wears such dress, only wise men would be able to see what he is wearing. Whereas, Fools would not be able to see that. Second weaver. And by wearing these clothes, you will be able to judge your ministers and your officers very easily. Only those who are clever and fit for their jobs will see what you wear. Those who are foolish and unfit for their work will not see anything. Okay, now what does the second weaver say? The second weaver says that by wearing those clothes, he would be able to judge his ministers and officers and that only those 
who are clever and fit for their jobs would be able to see what he wears and those who are unfit for their work would not be able to see anything emperor excellent excellent speaking to himself by wearing a suit made from their cloth i'll not only get a new set of clothes but i'll also be able to find out who are fit to manage the affairs of my kingdom and who are not now the king was very happy that he could wear new clothes and also judge others who are good and who are not in his kingdom okay now coming to scene 2 so next day in the evening a room in the palace the two weavers are seen working on the looms pretending to weave they had put away in their bags all the fine silk the gold thread and the jewels which were given to them for making the new clothes so next day in the evening two weavers were pretending pretending means uh, to behave so as to make it appear that something is the case when it is when the fact is something different so next day in the evening two weavers were pretending to weave and they had filled all their bags with silk gold thread and jewels chief advisor enters the room speaking to himself his majesty has sent me here to find out how the weavers are getting on with their work they seem to be working very hard but where is the cloth on the looms good heavens i can't see anything on the looms now chief advisor he enters the room and he says that he was sent by the king to check the progress of the work and he asked the way the work was going on but he finds that there was no cloth seen on the looms and asked where the cloths were first we were ah there you are sir we were expecting you step this way step this way if you please second we were pointing to the loom and pretending to handle the cloth they were supposed to be weaving don't you like the pattern sir the circles and the flowing lines are good aren't they chief advisor completely puzzled the circles and the flowing line yes yes they are very good so now the weaver asked the advisor whether he liked the patterns the circles and the lines that they were weaving so they were pretending everything though nothing was there do they were not weaving anything isn't it now chief advisor he is completely puzzled puzzled means completely confused okay so another advisor is totally confused and he is also uh, he also pretends as though he had seen some cloths there otherwise he would be considered foolish isn't it and he says that all these are good all those patterns and the lines were good first we were and the colors we hope the emperor will like the dark red and sky blue colors on the gold background chief advisor more confused than before dark red sky blue and the gold background i must remember this yes i am sure that his majesty will like the colors very much so the chief advisor he says that the king would definitely like the colors that the first weaver had mentioned second weaver you may tell his majesty how hard we have been working but we need some more silk and gold thread to complete the work and some more jewels to sew into his majesty's new clothes both the weavers together thank you your excellency now the second weaver he tells the advisor to inform the king how hard they were working to make new clothes to the king and they ask the advisor for more silk thread and jewels to sew Clothes. Are they really sewing the clothes, children? No, they are pretending as though they are doing something. Okay, next, Chief Advisor speaking to himself as he leaves the room. Heaven help me! There was nothing on their looms, but the weavers had said only wise men can see the clothes that we make. Those who cannot see them are fools or unfit for their jobs. Am I a fool? Am I unfit for my post? 
I must send my special assistant to see what really is happening here. After the chief advisor goes, the two weavers dance round the stage for some time, laughing at their success of their trick. Now, what does the chief advisor do? He leaves the room and he talks to himself that he could not see anything on their looms. But earlier, weavers had told that only intelligent men could see the clothes and those who could not see were fools. So he starts doubting himself if he was a fool. So he decides to send his special assistant to see what was happening there. Okay, now the two weavers, they danced happily thinking that the plan they had made was going to succeed. Okay, I hope you have understood so far. So let us continue this lesson in the next class. Children are coming to the homework part. Today's homework is Playing computer games is a waste of time. Do you agree with this? Write about it in 8 to 10 sentences and send it through WhatsApp. Thank you, children.